we're now going to solve an absolute value inequality that has two absolute values in it. And so we're going to set up the absolute value inequality, x plus 1, is less than 3 times x minus 1. And the problem here is we have an absolute value on both sides. Well, we really don't like having that. So we're going to divide both sides by it. And those divide out on the right. And because there's an absolute value with the fraction, that's the same thing as a full absolute value with a fraction inside of it. x plus 1, x minus 1, is less than 3. Now the absolute value with the less than says that I can turn this into the opposite sign is less than what's inside is less than the same sign. And this is an and inequality, so we want to know when is negative 3 less than x plus 1 over x minus 1, and when is x plus 1 over x minus 1 less than 3. Well, here, let's add 3 over the other side, so 0 equals x plus 1 over x minus 1 plus 3, no, not equal to, it's less than. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 1, so we get the same denominator. So that's x plus 1 plus 3x minus 3 over x minus 1, which is 4x minus 2 over x minus 1, or 0 is less than 2 times 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. This is the one that we're going to be solving first. Well, this, if you remember our sign chart, is going to have a open circle at one half and an open circle at one, because one half makes that zero, that makes that zero. The two is always positive. Two x minus one is zero here, so it's negative to the right, and negative to the left, positive to the right, and x minus 1 is 0 at 1, so it's positive to the right, negative to the left. So this goes positive, negative, positive, and we want to know when it's bigger than 0, so that's from here to here. One half, from minus infinity to 1 half union 1 to infinity. The other one's going to work somewhat the same. We're going to have x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 3 is less than 0, So again, we multiply the top and bottom by x minus 1. So we get x plus 1 minus 3 times x minus 1 over x minus 1, which is minus 3x plus 3 minus 2x plus 4 over x minus 1 is less than 0. Pull out a negative 2 is x minus 2 over x minus 1. So we get a negative 2, an x minus 2, an x minus 1, and an open circle at 1, and an open circle at 2. So a negative 2 is always negative. An x minus 2 is positive when it's bigger than 2 and negative otherwise. An x minus 1 is positive at 1 and less than to the left. So that gives me a negative, a positive, and a negative, and I want to know when it's less than 0. So that's my negative, so it's true here and here. So this gets a little bit complicated, but if you remember, we had minus infinity to 1 half union 1 to infinity, and we had minus infinity to 1 union 2 to infinity. So if we line these up on top of each other, here's our 1 half, here's our 1, here's our 2. This one looks like this. Remember, this is an and. of all of this, and this one goes from here to here and then from here on. So the only region that they both want to shade is from minus infinity to one half union two to infinity. And so this is our answer, because that's what makes both of these true with our original. So these can be pretty complicated problems, just to make sure that you remember how to solve rationals and that you remember how to solve compound inequalities.